What's going on everybody? My name is Zero Brown Kid, and first and foremost, I would like to say thank you to Comrade7 for letting me use his gameplay. A pretty good team deathmatch gameplay on the map terminal from Modern Warfare 2 using the M4. And um let's let's get into this commentary. What I want to talk about today is the Modern Warfare 3 update that has been uh released on June 21st. Obviously, I would have covered this on the day of release, however, I had exams that day, so I couldn't really um you know make a video or prepare to do the comment series so I decided to do it now since I have some spare time and uh, so yeah obviously this patch was released for the PS3 and the PC and it covers quite a lot of things actually I believe this is the most they actually covered in the patch or update uh, so far I, like, when I look at it for PS3 and uh, PC it's a lot actually so let's get into it also if I do talk for more than six minutes which I believe this gameplay is how long it is uh, I will um, I will restart the gameplay as always and uh, yeah so the first thing that they covered was anti-hack apparently uh, people were able to make a custom game mode and apply it to the online multiplayer so you could put like let's say 1500 points for one kill and in, uh, in actual multiplayer you would get 1500 points for one kill so I'm kinda happy they uh, fixed that because it's unfair that you know other people rank up faster than you but uh, yeah, they also fix matchmaking, which I'm not too sure about this, but it's for future improvements. As it, what it says here is preparation work for adding telemetry for matchmaking for future improvements. So I'm guessing uh, later on in the year, um, matchmaking will become well better. Hopefully, it will be similar to Black Ops 2 matchmaking. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link you to a T Martin video. He discusses that Black Ops 2 will have uh, a better matchmaking system. You guys can go check out more info there. And um, let's move on to the next one. The next one is game balancing. And the first thing they did was the Dragonov. The Dragonov uh, has been reduced. When I say reduced, I mean, uh, sorry, I mean the kick has been reduced. I forgot to put that in there. The kick has been reduced so it's more in line with the RSAS. If you guys ever seen the RSAS shoot, it is, well, it's freaking ridiculous. It kind of shoots like a... Uh, uh, like an MP7, but it's semi-automatic. So what they did was the Dragonov, they made the kick pretty much similar to the RSS. So I'm guessing that's pretty good since people like to spray with the, R the Dragonov sometimes. They also fixed Dead Man's Hand and they reduced the radius, the explosive radius, excuse me, by approximately 25%. And 25% can actually make the entire thing, you know. You, you could be... 25% makes a pretty good... Um, radius reduction so it's not that it's still big but it's not big as it used to be they also balanced out the blast shield perk and what it says here is they increased the damage reduction for blast shield in hardcore modes meaning when you use blast shield perk in uh, hard hardcore modes such as domination uh, team deathmatch kill confirmed the <coughs> sorry the blast the blast shield uh, damage reduction has been increased so you know everything else like your gun bullets in um, in hardcore have been increased and they also increased the damage reduction for blast shield which I think is pretty good you know even things out they also balanced the akimbo attachments for all machine pistols meaning now that when you apply akimbos to your FMG 9s your scorpions G18s they will have a slower rate of fire than they used to and there is a um, a Drifter video that Drifter made a, a while ago discussing how the rate of fire increases when you um, dual wield or akimbo your machine pistol. So I kind of find it weird that now they decide to patch it when they should have done it a while ago. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy and I'm kind of sad about that. So um, also the next thing they balanced out was the LMGs. They, they increased the minimum damage for all LMGs. I'm not sure what this means. But because increase is higher, minimum is lower, so I don't know about that. But I'm guessing um, the LMGs are more even. And a while ago, somebody found out that the LMGs only take two to three bullets to kill a player. So I'm guessing now it takes a little bit more than that. Also, they have fixed some game modes. Game modes such as kill confirmed. Um, what they did was they updated the player score before updating the team score. I'm not sure what that is about. I honestly do not care. Just give me my tags and move on. So. <laughs> Yeah, so that's something uh, kind of pointless. How I find it is pointless. They also did something with infected. They now remove falling damage. So you could be the uninfected. You could be the normal player running around with an ACR or whatever it is. 
and you can jump down from a tall building and you would not get damage even I don't believe you I don't believe you need the dead silence perk but that's pretty good because a lot I usually <laughs> I usually die from uh, uh, falling damage a lot in infected <laughs> um, they also fix domination and apparently uh, the domination defenses so every time you defended the flag let's say beat um on carbon or whatever it sometimes it would not go towards your defense that statistics in the domination leaderboards so I'm kind of happy they fix this you know make things you know right you know I don't really see the problem with it you know as long as you get the actual points and whatever just move on so I guess it's oh, pretty good that they fix it you know make things accurate and um, yeah they also fix some kill streaks apparently the Reaper two people could call in the Reaper at the same time now that would have been big trouble so I'm kind of happy they fixed that um, I witnessed this on the Xbox I put with my friends a little while ago I would say a few days ago after exams I would say Wednesday I believe it was and this guy called in a Reaper on our team and next thing I know the other guy on the other team had a Reaper at the same time so I'm kind of happy they fixed that and um yeah, that would have been a big problem if they haven't fixed that. <laughs> Running into like six Reapers at one time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> the next thing is they fix is some of the perks. Blind Eye. Apparently, when you uh, spawn, you do not have Blind Eye for five seconds. Now, that's kind of a big problem because five seconds can make a difference. Let's say an Osprey Gunner or an Attack Helicopter. That could really fuck your shit up. So, it's, pr it's pretty good that they fixed it as soon as you spawn, you have blind eye right away, instead of a 5 s with an, instead of a five second spawn delay. So, yeah. Another thing here they uh, mentioned was they fixed the bug where the blind eye killstreak is taken from the player on round transition if earned from getting 8 kills. Now, I'm not totally sure what this is about, but um, I believe as soon as you get the specialist perk and you got blind eye, it wouldn't work. I'm guessing that's what happened. It's, I'm not totally sure about it. Another another issue they fixed was flash grenades not working properly with recon. Now this, well, I'm not. I'm kind of. <laughs> it would have been a problem for me since I like to use recon. Now it's a very helpful perk. And don't take me wrong, guys. It's a really useful perk. You guys should use it. So the fact that if you threw stuff like flash grenades, it wouldn't work. So um, yeah, I'm kind of happy to fix that issue. Have not run into it yet, but um great to see that they are fixing some stuff that I have not found out about and um, yeah let's move on they also done some hot fixes for both PS3 and the Xbox 360 they fixed some some uh, four maps actually one of them is liberation they added a death trigger for the rock glitch now I have not played the maps yet I have not downloaded them I played them yes but I have not downloaded them so I have not run into any um, any glitches or problems so not a big problem to me but they may be a problem to you so what they did for liberation apparently there's a rock glitch and they added a trigger a death trigger into it so anytime you glitch in it you die they also did something similar to this with outpost a while back ago apparently you could get in some of the rocks and the, and the truck sorry and you could just kill people and nobody can kill you so i'm happy they fixed that they also uh, patched the wall breach glitch on black box and if you guys don't know about this uh, look through it on YouTube apparently there's a wall glitch wall breach actually and you get underneath the map you can kill people and uh, it's not totally fair so I'm happy they fixed that they also fixed they also um, put barriers around the map oasis and you guys didn't know you can climb on the rooftops of certain buildings on oasis you can get up the map and climb on the rooftops I'm kind of happy they fixed that you know keep the map one don't don't expand the map the map's made for small close, close quarters combat and i'm happy to fix it they also fixed uh foundation apparently there's a manhole in the pipe i'm not totally sure about this have not played foundation and i probably won't ever will since the map doesn't look all that to me they also did more game balancing they reduced the javelin radius explosion by 20 percent uh say rep perk yeah, I, what they did with the Sarah perk is they increased the range at which you can detect an enemy, an enemy, an enemy portable radar. Now this is pretty big, actually. You know, um, detecting portable radar is pretty big, especially for me since I kind of like the sound horn now. I kind of have a gaming headset. I have a studio headset on, but it still works as as decent as let's say Asteroid 40s or whatever. Sorry guys, I hit the pause button by accident. I apologize. But um, like I was saying, they fixed the uh, the range at which you could see the enemy enemy's portable radar, and this is kind of huge. You know, you can detect it.
from a farther range instead of like well as the normal range for like airdrop traps claymores bouncing betties so i'm happy about that they also did some other oh minor bug fixes they made the calculation for the player's accuracy more accurate apparently it was miscalculated but this is not really big it doesn't really matter unless you're like some freak about leaderboards <laughs> whatever and one more is the fix for one minute long kill cam duration with the reaper now that would have kind of sucked but however you do not have to sit through it you can just press square hope you guys know that but um yeah anyways this is kind of been a long update video for you guys i apologize for that but um you know I, I like to keep you guys updated on you know gameplay i mean mod 3 sorry gameplay what the fuck but um yeah if you did enjoy it please hit that like button and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching my name is Drew brown kit and i'll see you guys later peace